Hey there friends, Jeff Fritz here, and I want to talk to you about a cool tool that I found that's going to help make your coding faster, smarter, and more productive. I want to talk to you for a minute about Code Factory. Now, Code Factory isn't your typical code maintenance refactoring tool. Code Factory is a pattern automation tool that uses your code kind of like a data model. That means you can use Code Factory with your Greenfield applications to implement patterns, scaffold data models, and all of the controllers, view models, views that you need all in one shot. You can use it for automating migrating code from one pattern to another. Need to migrate from one framework to another? Build the appropriate patterns, templates, and tools that you need with Code Factory, and you can migrate and get exactly the format you're looking for. You want to implement some standards, some standard implementations of various architectures and techniques in your application? With Code Factory, you can set up those templates, you can create those commands in Visual Studio 2019, and have them implemented for your entire team in no time. Check it out. There's more about Code Factory I want you to see. Let's take a look at some templates around working with Blazor files and how we can migrate things from web forms to Blazor and what that looks like. Here I am looking at the eShop Legacy Web Forms project. This is straight from the eShop on Blazor demo that Microsoft has published. And I have this simple ASPX page. It shows a catalog of products that I have available in a simple list view. I mean, this is some typical web forms content that you might have created at some point over the last 20 years that ASP.NET Web Forms has been available. Let's see what we can do when we have Code Factory installed and we want to migrate this to Blazor. I'll right click on the file and choose Migrate to Blazor. This was added by my Code Factory template. And now I have the form presented by my Code Factory template appear, and it gives me the options of how I want to convert this web form to a Razor component or page that I'll be able to use in a Blazor project. So I'll output this into my eShop Code Factory project that already has all my business logic and configuration set up. And I'll close this out. If I go over to that project, you'll see I now have a default Razor and a default Razor CS. This template brings over all the code behind for my page so that I can inspect and migrate it appropriately. For this page, I don't need this and I can remove it. Looking at the page, I'll change this so that it's the appropriate content for Blazor. I already have a layout to find. And this is all set up to use the Blazor Web Forms components. I can go through and start changing these so that they use the appropriate component name that goes with those Blazor components. I'll do a few quick updates, and this page will be ready for us in no time. Now take a look at how easy it is to automate Visual Studio and write some code to interact with your code with your markup, whether it's ASPX, C Sharp, JavaScript, TypeScript, you name it. If Visual Studio can read that code, Code Factory can automate your interactions with it. Here's the source code to that template that we saw applied by Code Factory in our previous sample. Now, this is all open source. This is available on the Code Factory GitHub. If you want to go and check it out and learn more about how you can build and interact with these templates, as well as we've got documentation available for you out there. So check this out. The dialogues that you saw, the WPF form that was presented inside Visual Studio that we interacted with, you can see that here in the Solution Explorer. We've also got some T4 templates available that we can use to generate some code right here at the bottom of the Solution Explorer. And we have these 
classes, these methods that are buried inside of the migrations folder here that have information about how to convert an ASPX page. And here's the business logic of exactly what it was passed and how we're going to interact with it. So check this out. We're going to remove the ASP.NET syntax, all of those angle brackets that you see with the percent sign and at sign and the data binding. We're going to remove all of that because that doesn't appear inside of Razor Markup. And in the next method call here on line 174, we have a call out to go and replace the ASP controls with the appropriate Razor components that are going to be used by Blazor inside of our new project. Real easy to set these up and interact with your page content, with your text that you're rendering, and have that passed along into whatever methods you want to write to enhance or change the code. All right, I've got a couple more videos in this series that I want you to check out. But first, make your way over to codefactory.software so you can learn more about Code Factory and get a copy today.